Seven-year-old Saborno Isaac Bari recently received an invitation from Nobel laureate Kailash Satyarthi, Vice Chancellor Nateen Karmalkar of S.P. Pune University and Principal Dr. Anasri Lokur of Ruia College to visit India. Seven-year-old Saborno Isaac Bari, who is known as the god of mathematics, won the Global Child Prodigy Award 2020. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, why you call me honorable? I'm like your friend. You look better than me. Look at my scarf. Look at the beautiful tie and suit. Mm, my sister is not so good. But even then, you can accept me as your friend. Would you? In a ceremony, Nobel laureate Satyarthi said he would nominate Soborno for the Nobel Prize. Soborno was overjoyed by Nobel laureate Satyarthi's compliment and thanked him for inviting him to India. Ruia College of the University of Mumbai, which was established in 1937, is one of the top academic institutions in India. Today, Ruia College principal, Dr. Anushri Lakur, invited Savorno to give a lecture in physics and computer science. Good afternoon, student, and welcome to my physics class. Before I start, I want to thank Dr. Lakur for the Chancellor Award. Dr. Hatte for the kind introduction. I'm very overwhelmed to be here at Royal College of University of Mumbai. I just arrived here at your campus from the University of Pune. At the end of the lecture, I will fly to Delhi to meet with Nobel Laureate Kailash Satyarthi. So I have a little tight schedule, but I'm sure that I will still be able to inspire you to fall in love with physics. In this class, I want two things from you. One, everyone needs to ask me at least one question because you can't discover anything unless you ask a question. In fact, Sir Isaac Newton was able to lay the foundation of physics by asking questions. One day in 1665, he was sitting under an apple tree in his home, Wolfstrope. All of a sudden, he saw an apple fall. He looked at the sky and he saw the moon. He immediately asked, if an apple falls, does the moon also fall? He wanted to solve this falling apple and falling moon problem, but math of his time wasn't advanced enough to allow him to solve this problem. So, he invented calculus to solve the falling apple and falling moon problem, and also used it to write three sets of equations now known as Newton's laws of motion. By the end of today, everyone will be writing on the exit slip one thing you discovered today. So let's get started. Now, raise your hands. Who can tell me what Newton's first law is? Saborno Isaac Bari, who is known as the god of mathematics, became the youngest professor in the history of mankind. In a few moments, at the great University of Pune, he will give a historic book talk, which is based on his book, The Love. I request the Honorable Vice Chancellor to felicitate him with a memento and a shot. Thank you so very much. I am very honored to be in India. 
Now let me ask you a question right off the bat. Do you need a bow tie to be a physicist? No. All you need is perseverance, hard work, and a dream of becoming sure I think you and Albert Einstein someday in the future. But if you want to be a fancy looking physician, then you need a bow tie. Bribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming. 